your butt. Just take a couple breaths. You can either bring your knees to knock together or let your knees fall wide, just placing it right underneath the tailbone sacrum area. Arms can open wide to a T or a goal post, or you can rest your hands somewhere onto your bod. And then if it feels nice, you're just gonna start to take a little drop of your chin towards your chest, creating a little length in the back of the neck. And then opening your throat towards the ceiling, creating a little stretch through the front of the neck. Little tuck of the chin, opening up the occipitals, the tops of the traps, and then as you lift the chin, finding a little opening of your scalenes, SCM. One more, and the next time you find the heaviest part of your head just resting in the mat, nose just dipped up towards the sky. You'll walk your feet a little closer together so that your feet, knees, and hips are all in line. Hands are gonna rest somewhere onto your belly and you're gonna take a full breath into your palms as you find a sense of stillness and feel your feet plant into the floor. Five and exhale, let everything soften. As you inhale, deep breath into both hands. Feel the front of the chest nice and heavy. Feel the back of the head nice and heavy. Feel the buoyancy of your butt on the ball, but trying to keep it relatively still as you take one more deep breath in and out. The next time you feel yourself exhale, slide your hands to your pelvis. I like to keep my elbows heavy on the mat, but you can go fingertips to the inside of your hip bones. On an exhale, a little pressure into the feet. Think hollow out the low belly. Feel a little tuck of your pelvis. Really using that ball to help you tilt the pubic bone a little higher to the sky. And then as you inhale, feel your butt drop a little heavier into the ball. Feel the creases at the front of the hips work and feel the arch in your low back. We're going for three more, a little tuck under. Feeling that little crease across the belly button. And then release back to neutral. Two more. Try not to just squeeze the butt to tilt, but really finding effort in both the tuck and release. Last one for me. Good, you're gonna find your neutral position of your pelvis. Palms are gonna reach straight up towards the sky, facing each other. Shoulders are gonna be nice and plugged into your mat. Feet are still nice and parallel in line with your sits bones. You're gonna take an inhale as you reach your arms back overhead. Think about your butt getting heavier onto your ball and as you exhale, press the arms right back up towards the ceiling. Big inhale, arms reach overhead as the back of the shoulder stays plugged. Exhale, press the arms up to the sky. Once this starts to feel pretty solid, we're gonna add the lift of the legs. So you'll reach your arms all the way back overhead. And then as they reach to the sky, can your right leg float to tabletop? Step your right foot down at the same time you reach your arms overhead. Next time they press to the sky, left leg floats to tabletop. Okay, go for four just like this, trying to time the movement of your legs and your arms the same. Thinking of sinking your butt cheek a little deeper into the ball as you lift the leg so you are finding the deep crease at the front of the head. Making sure you aren't hiking the shoulders in either direction. The next time your arms are to the sky, your right leg is lifted in tabletop hold, scoop through the low belly, float your left leg into tabletop. Feel free to take your hands back down to the mat. Squeeze your legs together, let your heels drop to your butt a few of tight hip flexors or quads, and take five pelvic tucks here. It's a little bit more challenging thinking of your knees reaching straight up to the ceiling without the pressure of your feet in the mat. You're feeling just the tiny tuck draw from the low abs and then that deep crease as your thigh bones settle back down. Two more. Nice work, last one, we're gonna find neutral. Maintain your legs in tabletop, arms reach all the way back overhead. Feet can always come back down to the mat if they want, arms reach back up to the sky. We just have three like this, arms overhead. Pinning your ribs to the mat, feeling no movement of your pelvis. Last two.
Good, give me one last one. Arms to the sky, step one foot down at a time. Rest your hands all the way down to the mat. Lift your tush, take the ball out. Just hold on to it as you goal post your arms. Let both knees fall to the right. Take a little look over the left shoulder. Pull your knees back through center over to the left. A little look to the right. Big breath, pass through center. Good, from here you're gonna go ahead and curl forward enough that you can take that ball right between your inner thighs. With that ball between your inner thighs, feet still drawing in towards your butt, you're gonna take your hands behind your head, elbows nice and wide. To start, just find the squeeze of the ball, everything else stays super relaxed. As you inhale, let that soften. Exhale, gentle squeeze, tailbone is heavy, but you're still nice and neutral. Inhale, release. Start to notice the sensation of a zipper. So as you squeeze the ball, imagine a zipper from your kneecap all the way up towards your rib cage, zipping nice and tight. Navel pulls in and up, hip bones grow a little closer, thighs grow a little closer. Adding our curl, the next time you squeeze the ball, can you tip your elbows to the ceiling and find your upper ab curl? Pause here for a second, still finding neutral, try not to lift too high. And then release the squeeze of the ball, extend your head back, open your elbows wide. Elbows to the sky, squeeze your ball, deep curl on an exhale. Inhale, rest the head, release the squeeze. Four more like this. Last three. Can your chin stay off of chest? Can you think less about your elbows reaching for your kneecaps and more about your elbows staying pointed up towards the ceiling? Last two. Try not to first forget the squeeze of the ball. Last one, you're gonna curl up and hold. You're squeezing the ball 10 times as you curl up 10 times. Try to make it feel a little deeper, a little more controlled instead of a bounce. For four, three, two, last one. Rest your head all the way down. Elbows nice and wide, take an inhale. We just add rotation to this. So elbows will tip to the sky. You will curl up, squeeze your ball, a little twist to the right. Find center, tap your head to the mat, release the squeeze. Exhale, curl up and over to the left. That squeeze of the ball is helping you maintain the lower half of your body really still. You're feeling the rotation just happen from your rib cage, curling up and then rotating over. Remember, it is armpit towards inner thigh. It's not elbow to knee, so your rotation is only as much as your thoracic will allow. Trying not to let it go extra by dropping the elbow or letting your chin lead the way. Can you press your head into your palms? Two more. Good, one more to the left. You're gonna find center, take a breath. You're gonna curl up and over to the right and hold. 10 pulses to the right, squeezing the ball as you pulse to that right hip bone. For five, we'll take no break before going to the other side. Three, two, hold on one, curl a little higher, pass through center to the left, 10 pulses. Pulsing on the ball as you pulse in your twist. Three two, one. Everything relaxes down, take the ball out. Lay your legs nice and long down the center of your mat. Take the ball in your hands, reach it all the way back up and overhead. Take a breath in, you will reach the hands to the sky with the ball between the palms and then reach for your toes. Curl yourself all the way up to seated. Once you find yourself up to seated, you're gonna spin that right arm up and back, bringing yourself onto your right side. Good. So ball is to the floor for now. Right bicep is now your pillow. Left arm is gonna reach in front of you. And then you're gonna take a nice big twist open. Find your supine twist, stick your butt out a little more to get an opening through the mid back. Rotate forward again. One more. Good. 
Bring yourself onto your side. We are just gonna go for a lift and lower of our top leg. So your ear is resting on your bicep. You're finding a simple hover and a simple lower. It's this, once this starts to feel nice, your left arm can reach to the sky. Good. Perfect, starting to feel a little bit of the outside of that left hip. This is gonna be a little combo move, so we're gonna turn it into a bit of a crunch. So I want you to take your right palm, support your head here. Your goal is to keep the weight in that right elbow pretty relaxed as you continue to lift and lower. Good, from here, we're gonna hover the top leg and hold. You're gonna reach your leg long as your arm reaches overhead. As the knee bends in, crunch towards that hip. Maybe lift your head out of that right palm. Leg extends, arm reaches overhead, knee bends, elbow bends, a little crunch towards that thigh. Good. We have five like this. Four more. Last three. Two more. Give me one last one. You're gonna hold your crunch. You're taking 10 pulses of the knee in and of the elbow down, trying to shorten that left side. Four, three, two, one. Arm and leg reach long. You're pulsing your leg up for 10. Good, try and reach even farther. Relax the shoulder away from the ear. Three, two, one, bend the elbow, bend the knee, rest yourself onto your right bicep again. Reach that left arm forward and then take one last little twist up and back. Finding supine, circling that arm down. Simply roll onto your belly. Once you roll onto your belly, we're just doing it as a little bit of a stretch so you can do tops of feet down or turned out. I like to keep my forearms down, so you can have elbows under shoulders, hands reaching forward. You're just gonna lift your chest a little bit. And then you're gonna push down to the forearms, round your nose to navel. Big cat cow. Two more. Shine forward. Last one. And you can push yourself up into a child's pose, just sliding your knees wide, butt back over heels. Take one more big breath in and out. Good. Walk your hands in towards your kneecaps. Flip onto your butt for me. Once you find yourself on your butt, you're gonna need that ball again. Once you have yourself on your butt, feet can plant, knees up towards the sky. You're gonna find the ball, hold it at the tips of the shoulder blades, and then gently lay yourself down so that you're in extension. Have it mid upper back area, not in the neck, not towards the low back, and then hands behind your head. Take a big reach of your head up and back. You found that ball under your butt to start and then in between your thighs. Now it's at your mid upper back. So thinking of if you had three balls, you would have them in all of those spots. So pelvis will remain stable as if there was a ball beneath it. Inner thighs will stay pulling towards each other as if there was a ball between them. Tip your elbows to the sky, press into your feet a little bit, travel that full distance into your curl now that you're going double the distance, and then lengthen your head all the way back to the mat. Big breath at the bottom, exhale, nod and curl. And then slowly extend up and back. Remember that it's not just the curl that is giving you work, but the extension of your head back to the mat. Noticing if you're tucking your pelvis or if you can really let the tailbone soften. Let your head be a bowling ball. Let your elbows tip a little more to the sky, keeping that chin off of chest. Two more. Last one, we are gonna curl up and hold. Press deep into your left foot, float your right leg to tabletop. Step it back down, feel your footprint in the floor, left leg lifts. 
Chest is staying curled up, elbows are staying reaching towards the sky. Your vision is above your kneecaps, not towards your pubic bone. Good, now remember the sensation of the ball under your butt. Try and keep everything super stable here below the belly button. If this is feeling really nice, you can always go for the simultaneous switch. So as one leg starts to lower, the other lifts. If that doesn't feel good today, continue one leg at a time. You have four. Three, two, good. Legs either both meet on the mat or both lift into tabletop. 10 gentle pulses of your chest up towards your thighs. Try not to bounce. Breathe it out. Four, three, two, one. Step one foot down at a time. Big extension up and back, elbows nice and wide. If it feels nice, let your knees flop wide. We got one more variation here. Take a full breath into your belly, into your bod. Knees up towards the sky, feet are planted, tip your elbows to the ceiling, find your deep curl. We lay back in that twist just like we did the first round. So right leg lifts into tabletop, take a little twist towards it. Find center, step it down, left leg lifts, little twist towards it. Good, step it down. We go for a four. <sighs> Trying to curl a little higher before layering in the twist. Three. Two more. Good, last one to the left. You're gonna twist to the right and hold. You're gonna take your 10 pulses if you're feeling like a million bucks. Left leg can kick straight out. Four, three, two, hold on one, pull the left knee in, look at both legs, and then switch, twist to the left, maybe right leg extends or plants to the mat. Four, three, two, one, find center, either both feet down or both legs stay lifted, 10 pulses to center. Keep the head heavy, three, two, one. Step one foot down at a time. Big extend up and back. Extend your legs nice and long. Arms can reach out nice and long. Take a big breath or yawn. Sweep your hands to your toes. Use that ball to help you curl all the way up to seated. Maybe take a little fold over your feet. Nice step. Good. Restack, we roll into our left side. So no ball, left bicep is your pillow. I like palm face up, but do what feels right. Start simple, just the lift of your right leg and the lower. Good, start to feel the outer part of your hip. Temple can drop in towards your bicep a little bit more. Beautiful. Nice. You're going to continue like this, and if it feels good, left hand is going to support your head, but you're already in kind of a little crunch on the right side of your waist. Right arm is going to reach to the sky. Good. Three more. Try not to let your right shoulder hike up. Last two. Good. On this last one, hold the lift. You're going to reach your arm and leg away from each other, and then bend the elbow, bend the knee, side crunch. Arm and leg reach, elbow and knee bend towards each other, little crunch. Think of really creating space as you reach and then really drawing it nice and close as you bend. Four more. We're gonna take little pulses in our crunch in three. Good. Last two. You're there on this last one, little pulses in, up, in, five, four, three, two, last one, extend, really reach, 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 10 pulses of your leg up, nice and slow, relax your shoulders, relax your head and your hand, three, two, one, bend it in, rest the head, rest your ear on your bicep, we're going to go for three circles, so reaching forward to touch your mat, or by circles, I mean twists. Open your chest. 
two more times. If you want to turn it into a little arm circle, if your shoulder needs that kind of opening, go for it. Uh, last one. Forge. Flip onto your belly one last time. Good. Once you're on your belly, we're going to go for that little stretch. So forearms down. Lift your chest a little bit, pressing into the forearms and palms, getting a nice stretch from chin to navel. And then push into the forearms. Really tuck your pelvis or pubic bone into the mat, round your nose to navel. Two more times. Lift the chest, and then round. Last one. Round. Good. Find neutral hands, slide beneath your shoulders. Push up and back into your child's pose as long as that feels healthy. Perfect. You're gonna go hands under shoulders. You're gonna step right foot back, left foot back. So you can either come into a kneeling plank or a full plank position. We're just holding and breathing here. Shining your chest forward, flexing your heels back. Breathe for four, like you're blowing out those birthday candles. For three, this is two. Really energize the entire body from head to heel. Last one, gently set your knees down, push your butt back for your child's pose. We're gonna do one more plank, put on our forearms, okay? Deep breath in, heavy exhale out, let's get it over with, forearms down, elbows under shoulders, step one foot back at a time, take your forearm plank, shine your chest forward, breathe, flex your heels, breathe, four, three, Two, one. Relax your belly to the mat. Walk your hands a little farther forward. Lift your chest. Big inhale. Let your forehead come to the backs of your hands on your mat. Bend your knees. Just kind of windshield wipe your legs a little bit. Nice. Keeping your forehead on the backs of your hands. Legs are gonna reach nice and long. You're gonna hover your right leg so much so you can cross it behind your left ankle and open that hip. Your right foot can find the floor. Try to let the right leg be heavy towards the mat. I kind of roll onto my left ear because that feels nicer for my neck. Bring it back through center. Other side, left leg hovers, reach it back behind, a nice yummy twist. Make your way back through center. Good, simply roll onto your back. We go for three roll-ups, so you can always keep your knees bent if that feels nicer. Hands reach up towards the sky, up and overhead. Legs straight, to make it a little harder. Sweep your hands wide. Curl yourself all the way up to seated over your feet. Yeah. Grow tall. Lay yourself right back down. Remember, hands can come to the legs for a little support. Big circle. Bend those knees if you need. Use those hands if you need. Let's just go for one more at your own pace. The next time we curl it all the way up. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide if that feels healthy. Hands to ankles, elbows kind of slide into the pits of your knees and just take a little tip of your chest forward. If it feels okay, right hand finds the left ankle, left fingertips reach behind you, take a little twist over your left shoulder. And then bring your left hand to right ankle, right hand reaches behind you, a little twist over your right shoulder. Bring it back to center, one last little lift of your chest up. 
and fold forward. Grow nice and tall. Great job.